Hey guys, my name's Jess Flynn. I'm our tasting room manager here in Byron Bay. We're finding ourselves in some pretty strange times right now as a community. And whilst our doors are closed, we're still looking for ways to stay connected to you guys, to our drinkers. So this video is a part of a three-part series where we're going to do a virtual brewery tour all together. So let's go check it out. I'm sweating. Can we try not to get my armpits in any of the shots? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome guys, so yeah, it's very quiet in here at the moment, um, usually this area is full of tables, um, drinkers, and then same with here, it's usually full of all of our different takeaway carton stock. Um, if you've ever been here, you know that the tasting room is usually a very busy and bustling environment, so we're going to take this opportunity, whilst we are shut, to have a really great look inside. So this site that I'm going to take you guys around today is actually only just over a year old. Um, Stone and Wood was founded in 2008 and at the time we were just around the corner in a much, much smaller shed where our brewery and our offices were all in one building. As we expanded we kind of needed more space to brew so we kind of pushed the offices over across the street. Uh, and then in 2014 when we had reached our brewing capacity we opened up another brewery in Mwoolamba which is about 45 minutes north of here uh, at the base of Mount Warning. Okay, I need a break. Our brewery in Mwoolamba, uh, we moved into an old Bunnings basically. So our first, we inhabited the shed um, and then we moved into Bunnings and then we turned that into a brewery. But this is the first time we actually got to purpose build from the ground up exactly what we wanted as a brewery and exactly how we want um, our tasting room to look and feel. So, when you build a brewery, essentially it's all very similar because you're putting it all in a big shed. And then the true art is, okay, how do we warm it up? How do we make it feel softer? And we did that by the use of soft timbers and plants and things that I'll point out whilst we go around. Uh, we worked with some amazing local architects and local builders to allow us to deliver the exact look and feel that we were hoping to have here at a new brewery. Whew. That was a long one, eh? Can you get it all in the shot? <laughs> uh, look guys, so I want to make this virtual tour as close as possible to what it's like to actually walk through the brewery. Uh, so why don't we both top up our beers and we'll go for a little stroll upstairs. Uh, the beer that I'm drinking at the moment is the Gatherer. If you haven't tried it, you absolutely should. It's my favourite at the moment. It's an American wheat beer base and then to that we've added watermelon, cucumber and mint. So it's really, really nice and refreshing and fruity, uh, but super easy drinking, a little bit dry on the finish. Bloody good. <laughs> right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Look guys, this brewery has been a really long time coming for us uh, and planning and building and it's really sad to look down and see no one in here, to be honest. So I really can't wait to have you guys back and drinking in here with us. So a really important part about building a purpose-built brewery was to make this one big enough that our team could all sit under one roof again, uh, where we can actually sit at our desks and look up and look out the windows of the office and see the brew house in action. And that was a pur purposeful decision so that we can, you know, be hammering away on our laptops and then we look up and we see oh yeah, we're just making beer, let's chill out, maybe let's have a beer. Um, so we're still really engaged with the process right from the ground up of brewing. <laughs> so here are the offices. Uh, there's no one in here at the moment because we're all working from home um, with massive separation anxiety from the team. But usually we walk past, you know, three o'clock on a Friday, the team might cheers as we walk past. Uh, but here they are, and as I said, we can look straight across out onto um, the brew deck. Uh, so when we're plugging away at our desks from in here, we can look across and see probably Joshy, he's the head brewer in Byron here. And Joshy might be running across the top brew deck, pouring yeast in, pitching it in from the top of the fermentation vessels. Um, so we've got fermentation vessels out the back and then lined in the front as well. And then our brew house is down here. We'll go have a look. Uh, so welcome to the brew house, guys. A uh, really beautiful brew house with impeccable flooring. Roscoe, one of our founders, um, is really, really passionate about the flooring throughout the building. 
Uh, might take a second to quickly touch on the boys. So Stone and Wood is founded by Brad, Ross and Jamie. And they're the three most personable, caring and creative guys. Uh, they really had their, their sights set on how they wanted to create Stone and Wood as a community brewery. Um, and have been working really hard at achieving that over the last 11 years. Since then our team has evolved from the three of them to the 130 of us. Close to 80% of us are actually shareholders in the business as well. So coming to work we have this really beautiful family-like culture that we get to come into every day, which also makes for really good drinking buddies. Anyway, so we'll, t we'll cover the brew house and the brewing process in a little bit more detail later on, but for now let's go quickly have a look at the cellar. The thing about beer is it's a beautiful craft and everywhere throughout Europe where most of the history of beer comes from, you know, people keep their breweries impeccably clean and they're incredibly proud to be able to brew a beer that they pour their heart and soul into to then share with the public. Um, so one thing that Roscoe in particular wanted to do whilst creating this purpose built brewery is get these super sexy tiles in here. So these are um, an international brewing tile, they're about this thick. They support the weight of the stainless steel very well and obviously especially when it's full of beer. Um, any big prominent brewery in the world that you go into usually has these beautiful tiles. So they're so no, I don't want to say so anymore. Whilst it might seem like a minor detail, these tiles, it's just another little... Na, 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 na. Whilst it might seem like a minor detail, these beautiful brewing tiles are something just that makes us really excited about finally having the chance to build our own brewery. Uh. So the world of stainless steel and piping, another beautiful attribute that we have at the brewery. Like if we start up here at the top, we start to see that from the cellar, we stretch our way down towards this way, basically curves and bends around the building where we can send fresh beer straight to our serving tanks, all the way down here to our pilot brewery, which is basically our, our playground where we make limited releases, one-offs. It's our chance for our brewers to have a little bit of fun. So as I was saying, our pilot brewery is uh, where we get to play again with these one-off releases. Uh, the brewers can have complete creative expression. So over here is Dare. Um, he's going to... Let's try some things from the Bright Tank with Dare. He's our brewer down in Byron at the moment. Uh, it's just a simple sour just, and just play with it recently with some fresh watermelon. Wait. Cool, well that wraps up part one where we had a great look at our site. Um, next we'll dive a little bit deeper into the brewing ingredients and cheers to watermelon sours. <laughs> and you must remember we have Fifi La Fork, the best forklift in all the land. <laughs>